Scream yep. real loud, you know, we're in trouble. <laughs> Don't scream real loud. <laughs> hey, y'all. This is Tara on the go, but this time it's Tara on the go with Paul Russo. Say hi, Paul. Hey, hey. So every week, Paul and I, let me take my glasses off. It's a little sunny here in Dallas. Um, it's supposed to be like 90 degrees, but we're waiting for these clouds to clear. Anyway, so every week, Paul and I are traveling somewhere to, um, hey, Diana, traveling to um, a team meeting or a team presentation or we're doing something. So we thought that we would use this time to do some brainstorming with some of the things that we're um, learning from our small business owners. That was a quick honk. I think somebody's cutting us off. Um, anyway, from small business owners. So Paul and I are going to do a little brainstorming here um, and some marketing ideas. And so we were just thinking about topics. Um, Paul, give me a couple of suggestions and then we can pick. Well, what do you think? Well, you have your car dealerships, you yeah. have realtors, you have uh, investment people like your life insurance and those type of people. Yep. Yeah, it's real sunny. It's probably I know. coming off the top of my head. <laughs> start wearing a cap so those are just you know three industries that could really benefit from implementing send out cards they can see their ROI increase not only by from the salesperson but also from the business bottom line yeah so I'm also thinking you know we talk to nail salons owners um, salon uh, even hair salon owners um, I can't I mean we just talk to construction realtors so let's pick one. Who, who, let, let's think of, um, well, let's, let's go with life insurance. Okay, life, life insurance. Life insurance. So we both have some life insurance uh, customers. And, and some of the biggest uh, challenges that I think anybody has when you're in an insurance or you're a business development in an um, independent sales way is you have to build your pipeline, right? Oh, yeah. So nice. you got to keep that referral, um, your referrals coming, and your. I'm gonna turn just a little yeah, bit. A little sideways. Oh, yeah, uh, and you, um, get rid of some of that sun. Figure out how to get rid of this glare. No, no it said yeah. no. Um, is the referral? So one of the things that we teach is um, setting up what I call a set it and forget it campaign, and um, basically, you know, in a nutshell, it's setting up um, and marketing folks do this all the time. We do it with emails, we do it with other things, but for send out cards, what we do is set up um, campaigns for your touch points. So we'd um, send cards pre at a pre-scheduled um, time to your customers. So we're going to talk about some ideas for that for life insurance. So Paul, let's say I just meet, so I'm a life insurance agent and I just meet somebody. What's the first card I should send them? First card is uh, nice to meet you. Thank you for taking the time to meet with me, those type of things. Just uh, an affirmation of getting together for the first time. And one of the biggest things, it's just a thank you card. It's not, in, you don't put business cards in there, you don't pitch, you don't sell, and that's one of the things with insurance companies and finances, like they say, well, I can't do it because I have to go through compliance. When you're sending a thank you card, it just says thank you, like my friend Dave, his cards are uh, uh, cards of rock because he's a, he's a guitar player doesn't say anything. oh it, that's fine a little, little <laughs> a interruption little. there you know. on the highway that's what happens that's right. so it's all about how can you as a insurance person how can you reach your people without selling to them so the first thing is the thank you the next thing is it could be a birthday well hang on before we go oh, to yeah. the second one you know, so the the first one as a thank you or nice to meet you um if you set this up ahead of time, you can do that literally from your phone. So you're at a networking event, you meet somebody, you sparked a conversation with them, and you're thinking, oh, um, you know, let's not sell to them, let's not pitch to them. This is like marketing 101. Don't sell out of the gate. Just send them a nice follow up that says, hey, nice to meet you. And if you have this already set up, you can do it quickly from your phone right after the meeting. You could do it for everyone that, that you met. So uh, that's number one, is a quick, nice to meet you, follow up. So then our second one, let's just think about this. If we sent something, um, let's say we'd sent something maybe 45 days after. Hey Sue, this is my, my uh, would it be my aunt or cousin? She's in Illinois, she's um, in my family tree, I don't know. I'm gonna call you aunt, because I, I don't know exactly, maybe my second aunt, is that even a thing? Anyway. Yeah, twice removed. Um, 
so we're doing Paul and Tara on the go here. Um, we're on our way to a team meeting in, um, in Texas, and um, we're just talking about um, campaigns and how to use those, um, you know, to stay in front of prospects and um, customers. Okay, so we did the first one. You just met somebody, and uh, you send them a quick thank you or, or nice to meet you. No selling, just, just you know, just stay, just a nice little top of mind. And let me tell you something. That will go further than the email. Even if you send the email, send the card, you will get a response. Okay, second card. Let's say 45 days later. What should we say 45 days later? How about, um, you don't even wanna do a, a sales pitch yet. It's just relationship building. So I would say 45 days later is an encouragement. Right. It, right? It could be an encouragement. You could also, we have you know, pre-made cards and, and cards you can make yourself. One of them has a coffee cup on it. They, and they're just saying, hey, let's sit down and have a cup of coffee. Once again, it's not selling. It's just building that relationship because that no like, and trust, it's a relationship. Uh, one of my customers I sat down with, he's in the insurance field. We didn't even talk about his business. We didn't talk about my, my business. We just talked. His wife was having a baby in like two weeks, and we were talking about family and how things change, you know, with one child or another child. And we, for 45 minutes, we just talked and just get to know each other. I knew him, he knew of me, and it, it was nothing, we, we didn't. So it doesn't always happen, it's not business. It's relationship building. So I, a cup of coffee is a relationship. I love the cup of coffee, and one of the things that um, that I do too is the cup of coffee, let's meet for coffee, and then add the $5 Starbucks That's gift right. card. So you can add a gift card um, right from the system, you can set that up ahead of time. So you, the second touch point then is let's get together. I love that, Paul. I love the relationship part of it because really marketing is about 80% of building the relationship and 20% of you know selling your service or product. That's really what it is because just like Paul said, people buy from those who they know, they like, and they trust. Okay, so our second card then that goes out automatically is, hey, let's get together. Right? Maybe you go go to a team meeting together about forty minutes away, and so then you're on, on in the car, right? You're, you're, <laughs> and you have your captive. coffee. All right, we got our coffee. Right. Your captive audience. <laughs> your captive audience. <laughs> Maybe you golf. I don't know. Um, so that's the second card that goes automatically. Let's get together, have a cup of coffee. That's a great way to bridge that, building that relationship and getting to know them a little bit better. So the third one, I say, I. I'm gonna vote birthday. I, I and today is Laura Kramer's birthday. Happy birthday, Laura! A couple days ago was my aunt Brenda's birthday and my mom's birthday. So happy birthday, mom and aunt Brenda! Um, birthdays, I love birthdays. And let me just tell you, I when I get a birthday card, I'm like so excited, almost like a little kid. And so I always send birthday cards um, because it is um, birthday cards are just people don't do it anymore, right? They send you an email or maybe you get on Facebook like 70, 80, 100 people, happy birthday. But that one person who sends the birthday card, I think I still have some of mine from last year. I mean, as a matter of fact, I know I do. And um, because they were personal and they were special to me. What do you think, right. Paul? The oh, birthday? Yeah, the birthday cards. And what I've learned, not just from other people, but from people at network meetings that stand up, send it so it's like a day or two late. Related birthday cards get more reaction because everyone's appreciating before their birthday or on their birthday, and they're like, "Okay, that day's done," you know, go on. A day or so later, they get another birthday card, like, "Oh, you thought about me." Well, so did everyone else, but someone's going to stand up at a meeting and say, "You know, Paul sent me a belated birthday card, and I really appreciate it." They don't talk about all the ones they received on time, so there's some uh, little psychology in there behind sending a belated. You know, um, you know, it's Father's Day weekend too. So it's not ever. It's never too late to send a Father's Day card. So, you know, pick pick reasons to send. You know, we're talking about the insurance guy right now, but there's there's all kinds of reasons. So birthday cards are fabulous. Um, there's all kinds of things you can put in them. You can make them funny. I sent one to a guy because he has a bunch of uh, dogs, so I sent him a card full of cats. And I said, <laughs> you have a ton of dogs, no cats. Here's some cats for your birthday. Yeah, he posted on Facebook. He thought it was pretty hilarious. So relationship building having fun I love that it's you're funny you're a funny guy <laughs> I need to tap into Paul when I put together some of my birthday cards um, thanks Diane for your nice comments and Aunt Sue the guys are awesome um, so let's see 
birthday. I will also, one of my favorite things to do, especially um, for friends and family, is just add like a little brownies in there. Um, because they don't, they're zero calories. I'm pretty right. sure they're they, zero. They are yeah. because they're yeah, brownies they're of love. <laughs> so how can love have calories? <laughs> <laughs> There's zero calories, y'all. So when we send you brownies with the birthday card, just know that. That's like special. That's a special present from us. Um, okay, so that's our third touch point. Um, and we're still talking about prospects and your small business owners. You could do this with your current customers. Just, as, just the same. Just the same. Um, okay, so we had our third. Our first was nice to meet you. Our second was coffee. have a cup of coffee. Let's meet for coffee. Add in your Starbucks, you know, $5 coffee card because then they can't say no. I mean, you hope they don't. <laughs> and then third is the, the love brownies that are zero calories with the birthday card, right? We love right. that. And then our fourth. So we have 12 months in a year and we're trying to stay top of mind with somebody and build a relationship. So our fourth card... Okay, I'm gonna throw this out here and we'll see what Paul feels about it. I love like um, different holidays. One of my favorite is Halloween. Oh, yeah. yeah. So there's this um, little, it started, I found out about it in Maryland. I don't know where it started. I should probably find this out. But anyway, it's called You've Been Booed, right? And um, this started. I've seen that card. Yeah, but when, when we lived in Maryland, um, Someone put this on our door with a basket and a little thing that said, you've been booed. And then the idea was you make a basket and then you drop it off at somebody else's house, kind of ding dong ditch, ring the doorbell and then run. So super cute idea. So send out cards also has that same idea that you've been booed. I love this campaign because every, everyone I know that I have that has kids, I do something for their kids for the Halloween been booed. It's just so cute because my kids love it. So I do it for my kids and then I also do it for other people's kids so what do you think about that one that's like your fourth touch oh, yeah. point right that's a great idea you know holiday cards you know they can be different than Christmas because everyone gets a Christmas card find another holiday you know Halloween's great for just being different right we want to be different you want to be top of mind like Tara said also you need to be different you need to set yourself out from amongst your other 300,000 insurance agents that we're talking about today. So that's a great idea. You know, and Send Out Cards also has gifts around the different holidays. So they'll have some things that you might want to include. You know, we talked about the Starbucks card, but they'll have Halloween little gifts. Some of them are like uh, card size gifts or trinkets. Some of them are food. Some of them are non-food items. But there's always something that you could send to someone and tell them how much you appreciate them. So I, yeah, I mean, there's like, you could just pick a holiday yeah, to, our, to celebrate. Well, we have one of the guys we're going to see right now. He sent out 250 Groundhog Day cards. <laughs> and that, that's him. But you know what's really cool? He had received a lot of responses from people going, hey, that was kind of funny. And that's part of building the relationship, too. It's, once again, it's about having fun. It's about letting them know you, you know them, not about the sales. So it's like, that is a great idea. Valentine's Day or great send one other to, than your favorite person mother's day cards people you used to hang out with at their house and you like lived at their house when you were a teenager send a mother's day card to their mother send a father's day card to their father you have to think outside the box and if you'll notice none of these require an insurance person to go through compliance because we haven't sold them anything we're just being relational with them which is um gonna fare very well for you when you're building building your um, your pipeline and building your customers because at the end of the day that's who people buy from is people that they like um, and they know and they trust okay so our let's wrap this up so we're fifth card let's just say the fifth one and remember like I said early on you can set this up ahead of time and so these will go automatically um, you don't have to do anything else after you have to, after you've set that up. And if you have any questions about that, you can reach out to Paul or I, and uh, we, one of us can help you get going with that. It's so so easy. Okay, fifth card. I'm just gonna say holiday. It's got to be um, your. I actually like New Year's a little bit better than um, you know your your happy holiday one because New Year's is people are are encourage they you know want to start new goals and so i like although i do send lots of christmas cards i love christmas but i'm just saying 
Um, I like New Year's as well because that's, especially in a business relationship, that's a good time that I think that you set up like encouragement, like good luck for your goals next year, wishing you all of the success, um, a happy, you know, a happy, healthy year and you know, a lot of success for next year. Just that encouragement, I think helps create that bond. So, um, Paul, what I, do you I think? Agree, I agree there. And you know, and this may, for me, when I think about it outside the box, this may also be an opportunity to say, you know, if you're looking for someone to brainstorm with about what to do for the new year, give me a call. We can do a Zoom or we can do a sit down. And, and a lot of us, send out cards entrepreneurs, we do a lot of business coaching because people are like, like we've been saying, why do you send a card? And sometimes they're in a box and they're not really sure what to do. So sitting down and offering some time just to listen or to brainstorm with them is once again relationship building. And brainstorming, as we all know, you don't mark anything out. You just write a whole bunch of stuff and you go back later. So most people can brainstorm a little bit about a business if they're an entrepreneur. And it's just helping each other. That's it. Yeah. I like it. So let's wrap this up. Um, I think for uh, especially, blah, blah, getting that out, especially for um, life insurance, any type of insurance, you know, things that help. Um, I'm going to talk from a consumer perspective at this point is that we don't understand all the jargon. We don't understand like, uh, you know, a lot of what's going on because that might not be our thing to do. Right. So some of the things that you could put in those cards are just brief explanations, um, about certain products or certain things that you're talking about, or, you know, something that, that just gives your, the person a little bit of education and uh, typically what I recommend is putting that on the back of the card with your logo and information back there and so if you want any more ideas for that um, like I said Paul and I we're doing these brainstorming so next Saturday I'm not sure what we're gonna talk about yet but um, if you have a specific industry or you want us to brainstorm about your industry or what your business um, challenges are drop me a message on either on this video or PM me and then next Saturday during our time uh, travel time we will brainstorm with you all right y'all thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next week see you later Tara Bye. and Paul on the go in Texas <laughs>